If you guys are looking for cheap and reliable coins over the Level Up promo, then please look no further than FIFAcoin.com. You can get a whopping 10% discount and you'll also be able to get an extra 5% when you use my code Martin. Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video, another end game tactics video here on the channel. Today we're having a look at the good old 4-2-3-1, it's a formation that I have played for years and years and years. Um, not so much online recently, I do play it offline all the time, I use 4231, but in previous FIFAs as well, I've absolutely spammed the life out of 4231. So, it's a formation that I know very, very well, and I'm quite excited to take you through the tactics and the instructions today. So, let's get into the tactics first. So, defensive style, balance, as we always say, we don't want to overstep the mark in terms of pressure. We'd love to do this ourselves. And I can tell you that from the coaching that I do, further up the ladder you go, it's what people do. They're able to put that pressure on themselves. So just leave that on balance. Defensive width, 40. Keep that defense nice and tight. Defensive depth, 55. A lot of you should have really quite quick defensives now. So the defenses. So you can go between 50 and like 65, in my opinion, just depending on how confident you are, how quick your defense is. Build up, play balance. That's what 4 2 3 1 is. Gives you options all over the pitch, everywhere. Okay. So we can go long, short, wide, narrow. We've got those options. So we want the build up play to be nice and balanced. And generally, it's quite solid. So kind of working your way up the pitch. So build up play at balance is nice. Uh, chance creation, direct passing. As always, it's just the best one. Players will make the best runs with that. Offensive whip, 45. So on your build-up screen, okay, um, the 4-2-3-1 formation looks very narrow. That's not how it plays in game at, at all, okay? So the lamb and the ram, they're basically left wing and right wing, okay? They act as wingers completely, right? Um, so I have that on a little bit lower, I do. I have that on 45 just to bring them in ever so slightly. This isn't a situation where the striker gets too isolated because we've got a cam but we do want to just bring them in ever so slightly so they're a bit more involved. Uh, players into the box, six, you think. We've got the striker, Lamb, Ram, Cam, two CDMs, that's why. Corners and free kicks both on to each. But guys, as always, the higher that you have it, more chance of getting on the, stuck on the counter attack. So into the player instructions. And this is, I always feel that the player instructions are what makes a, um, a formation and how you're gonna use it. But before we do that, guys, Online coaching, I do offer online coaching, all right? A lot of you have got in touch with me over the year, which has been fantastic. It is still available, so if you're really looking to improve at your rivals or your foot champs over the summer, or you just wanna be in a better place for the next game, then please get in touch with me. The email address is martinfifa88 at gmail.com. Right, two set the backs, stay back while attacking. Of course, we don't even need to say that really. Two full backs. Stay back while attacking as well. I say this a lot. If you've got wingers in your team, then there's no debate for me. You don't need to have your fullbacks on get forward or overlap or anything like that. Just leave them be. They will still get involved in the attack. They're often going to be your out ball, you know, trigger runs with them, get them involved. But their first job is to defend, keep the goals out. Right. This is where it could vary a little bit. So into the two CDMs. Some people have this on stay back while attacking on both. I find that's a bit too boring, okay? I feel like there's no right or wrong way of doing this, okay? So I'm gonna give you the few options and you play around with yourself. I've got Beckham and Odegaard, who are two players that um, can do a bit of everything, all right? And so I've got them on balanced attack because I do want them to get forward a little bit. I don't just want to attack with four players. But equally, we want them to defend as well. They're on cover centre to make sure that they're in the middle of the pitch and to help the defence out and obviously um, help the attack out. But you can have one on stay back while attacking and one on get forward or one stay back attacking, one balance attack. It really just depends on what you want to do. Or some people will have both on stay back while attacking. I prefer to have them on balance attack because I do want them involved a little bit, okay? I don't want them both on get forward, definitely not. I wouldn't recommend that in the slightest, but if you want one on stay back while attacking and one on balanced, 
I think that that might be the favoured method, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, play around with that if you want to. Right, then into the cam, which will be Zola for me. Him and Beckham, I'm this close to complete both of them. Stay forward and get into the box of crosses. He's vital, okay? Because he supports the striker, all right? If not, that striker is so, so isolated. So I've played around with this. If you put the cam on basic defense or come back um, on defense, what he does is he splits the two CDMs. So you've got Odegaard and Beckham there. And if you've got Zola on comeback, it ends up doing that. That's not what you want because you, you'll inevitably have someone very good attacking wise at cam. And they will end up becoming like your central midfielder and probably the person you've got highlighted when trying to defend. And I don't want to have Zola in that position. They keep him on stay forward and know that he's a bit of an out ball through the middle when you do win it back, all right? Okay, and then out onto the wings. We've got Sterling and we've got Gift Links here. So come back on defense, that's important. Where the cams on stay forward, we need to have more than six players defending. So Sterling, Links, back when defending, come back on defence. However, because we've got the direct passing turned on, we've got to get into the box of crosses. When we do start attacking, they're gonna run, okay? Lots of speed out on the wings, um, and it will work very, very well. Unlike other formations, we don't need to worry um, too much um, about the striker being isolated, so we can let them stay wide and provide the width. And then up top, last but by no means least, is Harry Kane. And I just leave him on default, okay? I'm not too worried about telling him to stay central and that type of stuff because he's literally got Zola right behind him. So if one of them want to drift off a bit, that ain't a problem. It's not a problem. But guys, there we go. There's my 4-2-3-1 endgame custom tactics. I hope you enjoy them. I hope they work for you. If you have enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.